I've owned a home for 32 years and raised three kids. I've come across quite a few clogged toilets in my life for both natural and unnatural causes. If you're a new homeowner standing in front of a clogged toilet right now, you have my sympathy. In this video, I'm gonna show you the tools and techniques that I use to keep the toilets flowing in my house. This video is sponsored by Cottonelle Fresh Care Wipes, the number one national brand of flushable wipes. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and today I'm gonna to teach you everything I know about unclogging a toilet. But first, let's start with a little bit of anatomy, of a toilet, of course. The bending tube behind the bowl is called a trap. The tube itself is called a trapway. When the bowl is full of water, the trap prevents sewer gases from entering the house. When the toilet is flush, the water rises in the bowl and spills over the trap, causing a siphon that sucks everything down the drain. This water-conserving toilet has a nice curved trapway that rarely clogs. Older toilets had uneven trapways that needed more water to flush properly. Many clogs are caused by foreign objects that you can't see. When someone drops a foreign object into the toilet, their natural reaction is to flush it to hide the evidence. It's always better to remove a foreign object from the toilet instead of flushing it. You could use your hands or you could use a flexible grabber like this to go in and get it. Now, if your clog was caused by natural causes and you just wanna flush it down, I'm gonna give you four methods to clear it. But first, a word from our sponsor. Cottonelle Fresh Care wipes are 100% flushable and safe for all sewer and septic systems thanks to Safe Flush technology. Cottonelle also features cleaning ripples, a texture that provides softness while removing more, you know. They clean better than using dry tissue alone. Now back to those four methods. Sometimes the clogs are just because you've got a big load in the bowl that just won't fit down the trapway. So in situations like this, take an ordinary plastic knife, go down and break up whatever is in there, loosen it up, try flushing again. More than 50% of the time, that works fine. Give it a try and throw the knife away. All right, if that doesn't help, step two is to try a plunger. Now, when you go to the hardware store, you wanna look for a toilet plunger. They're bigger than sink plungers and they have this horn around it and you can find them either looking like this or this. The horn is intended to put all the pressure down the trapway and they're really not hard to use. Now, to start with, you wanna make sure that you fill the plunger with as much water as possible before you turn it upright. Typically, you've got a lot more water in the toilet so that's not that hard to do. And then you wanna put it right over the hole, right down the bottom, and you wanna do one deep, get the majority of the air out, and then fill it with water. And then you're gonna plunge. But the most important thing to remember with a plunger is to close your mouth. Now be careful because this could make a mess. You might wanna remove everything from around the toilet. You wanna do some short, down, hard pressure. You wanna do this for a couple of minutes and hopefully that lets all the water go down like this did. And then you can flush the toilet and you should be good. If plunging didn't clear the clog, the next thing to try is a toilet snake, also known as a closet auger. What this is, is it's a flexible cable with kind of a corkscrew on the end. And this is intended to go down through the trap completely, physically, and dislodge anything that might be stuck in there all the way down into the floor. Now, when you're using the auger, you wanna start with it retracted all the way up the tube. The rubber on this tube, my goodness, this thing is hard to do, such a small bathroom. So you want that resting on the bottom. And then as you push on the auger, you push and turn and eventually, Now, once it's retracted all the way, you can tell this is all the way down into the drain down in the floor. And so if a lot of times when you pull this out, you're gonna have some dirty water come with it. So you're gonna want, this is just rust of course, because I haven't used it in a while. You're gonna have more than rust. That should definitely clear your clog. 
If you've gotten this far and it's still clogged, chances are it's time to call a plumber. Because if the clog is out of the reach of your auger, chances are you've got a much bigger problem. The best way to prevent clogs is to use less toilet paper and finish with a Cottonelle flushable wipe. I bought these from the Walmart online grocery and I was amazed at how convenient it was. I picked a date and time that was convenient for me, then told the app when I was on my way. It tracked my location until I got there and a Walmart employee delivered the bags to my car. Just click here or the link in the video description to find Cottonelle at Walmart. And if you have nothing better to do, there should be another video link right down here that would just be perfect for you. So the number one rule as a parent is to remain calm and forgive every mishap that causes a foreign, to uh, foreign toilet.